The United States is an economic powerhouse. It's the country with the most Fortune 500 companies in the world and is one of the leading countries in all sorts of industries. Whether you like the American model or not, there's no denying their impressive prowess in business. So here are the largest companies for each state. Alabama. Encompass Health Corporation is one of the United States' leaders in integrated healthcare services, with a national footprint that includes 145 hospitals, 251 home health locations, and 96 hospice locations in 42 states and Puerto Rico. The company employed a total of 43,400 people in 2021, bringing a yearly revenue of $5.1 billion. Alaska. Bristol Bay Native Corporation is one of 13 Alaska Native Regional Corporations created under the ANCSA in a settlement of Aboriginal land claims. It has more than 10,000 shareholders, primarily of Eskimo, Aleut, and Indian descent. This corporation has 3,000 employees, and in 2021, it reached its peak revenue of $10 million. Arizona. Kyocera Solar is a company that produces and supplies solar energy products for both residential and commercial use. It was founded in 1975, and its headquarters are in Scottsdale, Arizona. You'd be surprised to find out that this company only has 28 employees. But don't judge a book by its cover, because it made $12.2 billion in revenue only in 2021. Arkansas Walmart is a well-known retail multinational that operates a chain of hypermarkets, discount department stores, and grocery stores. Headquartered in Bentonville, it has more than 10,500 stores in 24 countries. With around 2.3 million employees, it's no surprise that it's also the world's largest company by revenue, according to Fortune magazine, with around $570 billion made in 2021. California Apple is arguably the most recognizable tech company in modern history. It's one of the big five American IT companies alongside Alphabet, Amazon, Meta, and Microsoft. And it's also the world's biggest company by market cap. Apple's 2021 annual revenue was $365 billion, and it has 154,000 employees. Colorado Aero Electronics is a Fortune 500 company specialized in distribution and services related to electronic components and computer products. Based in Centennial, Colorado, it has around 19,300 employees, and it closed 2021 with a $34.5 billion annual revenue. Connecticut United Technologies they are an industrial conglomerate headquartered in Farmington that employs over 240,000 people and rakes in $66.5 billion per year. In April 2020, they merged with Raytheon Technologies in a deal valued at $86 billion. Delaware DuPont de Nemours Inc. This chemical manufacturer has 34,000 employees and makes $14.3 billion annually. This company has three distinct parts to it. Corteva specializes in agri-science. Dow covers material science. And DuPont handles specialty products, which include safety and protection, biosciences, and nutrition and health. Florida. Publix is an employee-owned supermarket chain headquartered in Lakeland. It is the largest employee-owned company in the U.S., it has around 230,000 employees, and it made around 48 billion US dollars in 2021. The company operates a wide range of facilities like retail locations, cooking schools, corporate offices, distribution centers, and manufacturing facilities. Georgia. When talking about Georgia, we're talking about huge companies. Home Depot takes poll on companies like Delta Airlines and the Coca-Cola Company as the biggest one in the state. Born after its founders got fired from a local hardware chain, it has grown to become the world's largest home improvement retailer. The company has its headquarters in Atlanta, over 500,000 employees, and in 2021 made a revenue of $151 billion. Compared to the 86,200 employees and the $38.7 billion annual revenue from the Coca-Cola Company. Hawaii. Hawaiian Airlines is a key player in the transportation industry, operating air routes between the Hawaiian Islands and certain cities in the US, and between the Hawaiian Islands and the South Pacific, Australia, and Asia. Hawaiian is based in urban Honolulu. It has over 6,600 employees, and in 2021, it made a peak of $2.8 million. Idaho Albertsons This supermarket chain is the second largest in the US, only behind Kroger, and they continue to grow. In 2020, they hired around 55,000 additional people just to help with the increased sales during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Today, Albertsons has around 325,000 employees with a $71.9 billion annual revenue. Illinois. Walgreens is an American company that operates the second largest pharmacy store chain in the U.S., just behind CVS Health. Headquartered in Deerfield, Walgreens first started in Chicago in 1901 as a small food front store. Since then, the pharmacy has grown to more than 200,000 employees and a $132.5 billion annual revenue, leading world-renowned companies like McDonald's and Boeing. Indiana. Elevance Health is an American health insurance provider that covers around 46 million people across the country. Formerly known as Anthem, it is headquartered in Indianapolis. It has around 63,900 employees, and its 2021 revenue of $136.9 billion put it in the 20th place of the Fortune 500 list. Iowa High V is another employee-owned chain of supermarkets in the Midwestern and Southern United States. It was founded in 1930 in a small brick building and has grown ever since to more than 280 locations, including a 125,000 square feet store near Green Bay in Wisconsin. This company has around 90,000 employees and a $12 billion yearly revenue. Kansas. Coke Industries is a private multinational conglomerate corporation and is the second largest of its kind in the US, just behind Cargill. Its subsidiaries are involved in oil and energy production, chemicals, fiber, intermediates and polymers, minerals, fertilizer, pulp and paper, chemical technology equipment, cloud computing, finance, commodity market training, and investments. The firm employs around 122,000 people in 60 countries and has a yearly revenue of $15 billion. Kentucky. We bet you guessed it right. Kinda. Kentucky is home to many big companies with billions in yearly revenues like Texas Roadhouse, Humana, ResCare, and Papa John's. But none of them comes close to the army-like number of employees that Yum! has. In case you're wondering, Yum! is the holding company of KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell, listed on the Fortune 1000 list. It's one of the world's largest restaurant companies. Headquartered in Louisville, Yum! has around 1.5 million employees and franchise associates all around the world and a $6.5 billion yearly revenue. Louisiana CenturyLink This telecom company is the third largest in the U.S. and provides phone, internet, and cable TV services. It is headquartered in Monroe and has customers in over 60 countries. This company brought in $23.4 billion in 2021 while employing around 42,500 people. Maine. IDEX Laboratories is a leading company in pet healthcare innovation. They specialize in manufacturing tech equipment to provide advanced medical care of pets while implementing more affordable, successful practices. They are headquartered in Westbrook, employ around 9,300 people, and earned $3.2 billion in 2021. Maryland, known worldwide by its hotels and resorts subsidiary, Marriott International is a hospitality multinational that operates hotels, residential, and timeshare properties. This industry leader company owns more than 3,900 properties around the world. Headquartered in Bethesda, it employs around 121,000 people and has a $13.9 billion revenue. Massachusetts. General Electric is a multinational conglomerate that operates in various segments, including aviation, power, healthcare, finance, digital industry, lighting, renewable energy, and much more. In the future, it is expected to separate into different brands, GE Aerospace, GE Healthcare, and GE Vernova. General Electric is headquartered in Boston, employs 168,000 people, and brought in $74.2 billion in 2021. Michigan. Hardly any other company illustrates the American Industrial Revolution as the Ford Motor Company. Founded by Henry Ford in 1903 and headquartered in Dearborn, it introduced innovative methods for large-scale manufacturing and industrial management, growing to become one of the biggest car manufacturers in the U.S. and the world. With around 186,000 employees, it bagged $136.3 billion of revenue in 2021. Minnesota Target is the seventh largest retailer in the U.S. and a component of the S&P 500 and the S&P 100 indexes. Headquartered in Minneapolis, it has over 1,938 stores across the country and operates a wide variety of products from beauty and health to clothing and accessories, electronics, food, furniture, games, jewelry, toys, among many others. Target employs around 409,000 people and in 2021 made $107 billion in revenue. Mississippi. 
Sanderson Farms is a Fortune 1000 company dedicated to the production, processing, and distribution of fresh and frozen chicken and other prepared food items. It is the third largest poultry producer in the U.S., and it's believed that this company produces 13.65 million chickens per week. Based in Laurel, Mississippi, Sanderson Farms has 17,000 employees and in 2021 made $4.8 billion in revenue. Missouri. Enterprise Holdings is a private holding company and the parent company of car rental agencies like Enterprise Rent-A-Car, National Car Rental, and Alamo Rent-A-Car. It also operates several other transportation services, including commercial fleet management, used car sales, car sharing, and commercial truck rental operations. The company owns a fleet of more than 1 million vehicles. It has around 80,000 employees, and in 2021, made $22.5 billion in revenue. Montana. Fringe Benefit Resources provides insurance benefits to the employees of different businesses all over the state. This organization has the exclusive endorsement of the Montana Hospital Association, Ventures Program, the Idaho Automobile Dealers Association, the Montana Health Network, and the Northwest Montana Physicians Group. Headquartered in Great Falls, it has around 12,000 employees, and it made $16 billion of revenue in 2021. Nebraska. Berkshire Hathaway is a multinational conglomerate headed by its president and CEO, Warren Buffett. The company owns, manages, and oversees subsidiary companies. Some of its fully owned companies include Geico, Fruit of the Loom, and Hellsberg Diamonds, while holding a significant minority in American Express, the Coca-Cola Company, Wells Fargo, and IBM. Berkshire Hathaway is considered the ninth largest public company in the world according to Forbes Global 2000 list. It has around 360,000 employees and a $245.5 billion annual revenue. Nevada. MGM Resorts International develops, builds, and operates unique destination resorts designed to provide a total resort experience, including first-class accommodations and dining, world-class entertainment, state-of-the-art meeting and convention facilities, and high-quality retail and gaming experiences. Headquartered in Las Vegas, it has around 74,500 employees and a $12.8 billion annual revenue. New Hampshire. CNS Wholesale Grocers is one of the largest grocery wholesalers in the U.S., and in 2021, it was the eighth largest private company in the United States, according to Forbes. CNS owns the Piggly Wiggly and Grand Union brands, and among its many customers, we can find Target, which is also on this list. Based in Keene, it employs around 17,000 people, and in 2021, it made $30 billion in revenue. New Jersey. Cognizant is a multinational information technology services and consulting company. It was founded as an in-house technology unit of Dunn and Bradstreet in 1994 and started serving external clients in 1996. Its fast growth in the 2000s made it part of the Fortune 500 list. It is based in Teaneck, has around 341,000 employees, and in 2021 made $18.65 billion in revenue. New Mexico, a call security, headquartered in Española. They are a private security company that receives federal contracts to guard federal courthouses, NASA facilities, and immigration detention centers. Even though they only made $700 million in 2021 revenue, they employ around 12,000 people. New York. IBM is a global technology and innovation company serving clients in 170 countries. IBM's research group is home to five Nobel laureates, nine U.S. National Medals of Technology, five U.S. National Medals of Science, six Turing Awards, and 10 inductees in the U.S. Inventors Hall of Fame. Headquartered in Armonk, it has around 282,000 employees, and it made $106.9 billion in revenue in 2021. North Carolina. Lowe's is a retail company specializing in home improvement. The company operates a chain of retail stores in the United States and Canada. As of February 2021, Lowe's and its related businesses operated 2,197 home improvement and hardware stores. It is the second largest hardware chain in the United States, only behind the Home Depot. Headquartered in Mooresville, Lowe's has around 300,000 employees and a $96.3 billion annual revenue. North Dakota. Noridian Mutual Insurance Company is an insurer headquartered in Fargo. It offers health, dental, and life insurance under several brands, including Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota, which is the largest health insurance provider in the state. It has around 16,000 employees and a $13 billion annual revenue. Ohio. 
The Kroger Company, or simply Kroger, is an American retail company that operates supermarkets and multi-department stores throughout the United States. Based in Cincinnati, it operates 2,720 grocery retail stores under its various banners and divisions in 35 states and the District of Columbia, and also 33 manufacturing plants, 1,629 supermarket fuel centers, 2,252 pharmacies, 225 The Little Clinic in-store medical clinics, and 129 jewelry stores. It has around 465,000 employees and a $137.9 million annual revenue. Oklahoma. Hobby Lobby is the largest privately owned arts and crafts retailer in the world, employing approximately 43,000 employees and operating more than 700 stores in 47 states across the U.S. It is primarily an arts and crafts store, but also includes picture framing, jewelry making, fabrics, floral and wedding supplies, cards and party wear, baskets, wearable art, home accents, and holiday merchandise. Its corporate headquarters include a 9.2 million square foot manufacturing, distribution, and office complex in Oklahoma City. And in 2021, the company made $5 billion in revenue. Oregon. Nike is the world's largest supplier of athletic apparel and shoes. It designs, develops, and markets footwear, apparel, equipment, and accessory products for many different sports. Headquartered in Beaverton, its annual revenues exceeded $46.7 billion while employing more than 75,000 people. Pennsylvania. Aramark is a food service, facilities, and uniform services provider to clients in areas including education, healthcare, business, prisons, and leisure. It operates in North America, United States and Canada, and an additional 20 countries, including the United Kingdom, Germany, Philippines, South Korea, Chile, Ireland, and Spain. The company is headquartered in Philadelphia, employs 215,000 people, and has a $12.1 billion annual revenue. Rhode Island CVS Health, ranking number four on the Fortune 500 list in 2021, is an American healthcare company that owns CVS Pharmacy, a retail pharmacy chain, CVS Caremark, a pharmacy benefits manager, and Aetna, a health insurance provider, among many other brands. They brought in $292 billion in 2021's revenue and have around 300,000 employees. South Carolina. Founded in 1899, Sunoco is a global provider of a variety of consumer packaging, industrial products, protective packaging, and displays and packaging supply chain services. Headquartered in Huntsville, this company has around 21,000 employees and a $5.6 billion annual revenue. South Dakota. Sanford Health. Headquartered in Sioux Falls, it is a non-profit, integrated healthcare delivery system. This company has around 47,000 employees and has an annual revenue of $9.8 billion. Tennessee. FedEx is a multinational conglomerate holding company focused on transportation, e-commerce, and business services. The name FedEx is a syllabic abbreviation of the name of the company's original air division, Federal Express, which was used from 1973 until 2000. FedEx's prominence in both the United States and the world have made it a common topic in popular culture, with examples including the film Castaway. Headquartered in Memphis, it has around 547,000 employees and in 2022 had a $93.5 billion revenue. Texas Pizza Hut is an American restaurant chain and international franchise known for Italian-American cuisine, including pizza and pasta, as well as side dishes and desserts. The chain operated 17,693 restaurants worldwide as of 2020, making it the world's largest pizza chain by number of locations. Headquartered in Plano, Pizza Hut employs over 350,000 people and a $6.6 .6 billion annual revenue. Utah. Intermountain Healthcare is a not-for-profit healthcare system and is the largest healthcare provider in the Intermountain West of the United States. This company provides ambulatory and acute health services, along with other medical services through 225 clinics and 25 hospitals in Utah, Idaho, Nevada, and additional affiliations in other areas. Headquartered in Salt Lake City, it employs around 59,000 people and had a $7.7 .7 billion revenue in 2021. Vermont. Casella Waste Systems. This waste disposal company started in 1975 with a single truck in one town and now services six states. This is a regional, vertically integrated solid waste services company. Casella provides resource management expertise and services to residential, commercial, municipal, and industrial customers, primarily in the areas of solid waste collection and disposal, transfer, recycling, and organic services. 
It has around 2,300 employees and a $774.6 million annual revenue. Virginia. Dollar Tree Incorporated is an American multi-price point chain of discount variety stores. It is a Fortune 500 company and operates 15,115 stores throughout the 48 contiguous U.S. states and Canada. Additionally, the company operates stores under the name of Dollar Bills as well as a multi-price point variety chain under the Family Dollar banner. Based in Chesapeake, it has around 193,000 employees and made $26.3 billion in revenue in 2021. Washington Amazon, headquartered in Seattle is an American multinational technology company focusing on e-commerce, cloud computing, online advertising, digital streaming, and artificial intelligence. It has been referred to as one of the most influential economic and cultural forces in the world and is one of the world's most valuable brands. It is also one of the big five American information technology companies, alongside Alphabet, Apple, Meta, and Microsoft. Amazon has around 1,608,000 employees and in 2021 brought in $469 billion in revenue. West Virginia. The United Hospital Center is located in Bridgeport. The 692,000 square foot structure rises eight stories. Its design includes enhanced patient privacy, a high level of technology integration and improved access to care. The acute care facility has 292 private inpatient rooms and 24 observation rooms with a medical staff that consists of more than 140 primary care and specialty physicians. UHC employs around 2,000 people and has a $331 million yearly revenue. Wisconsin. Kohl's is a company that operates family-oriented department stores that sell apparel, footwear, and accessories for women, men, and children, and also soft home products, such as sheets and pillows and housewares. It is the biggest department store chain in the U.S., sitting above its biggest competitor, JCPenney. It has 1,165 locations in all states except for Hawaii, around 110,000 employees, and a $19.4 billion annual revenue. Wyoming. Jackson Hole Mountain Resort is a ski resort in the western United States at Teton Village. It is named after the historically significant Jackson Hole Valley and is known for its steep terrain and large continuous vertical drop of 4,193 feet, 1,262 meters. This hotel is known for being one of North America's most expensive ski resorts. Founded in 1963, it employs around 1,400 people and made $140 million of revenue in 2021. Does your country have similar companies? If so, what are they like? Tell us in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video and don't forget to stay curious.